commanders and welcome to a new episode of the rise of Austria series now we are advancing and roaming inside the homeland cities of Syria to mark and finally the fall of Syria after we take down all of his colonies in Europe now I am sending my national guards into his empty homeland cities a reminder his empty homeland cities has been yoked has been bombarded by the Austrian task forces this is the Suez Canal naval battle between Austria and Brazil now I can say that the two big powers that are battling for this game are Brazil and Austria. These are my um, agents that I have planted in his homeland cities. We can see here that in, uh, in his colonies, in Algeria is making motorized infantry, he is making uh, conventional warheads, cruisers and mobile on the air. Actually he is focusing on motorized infantry in Africa because he has a lot of annexed cities there but my priority here is to destroy his naval base in Rio de Janeiro because he's making cruisers there that is a priority to take it down also in Sao Paulo he is making conventional warheads and we know that uh, our naval battle between Austria and Brazil has been so intense between naval warfare and missiles warfare also another reminder he launched around five or six nuclear ballistic missiles on my naval bases but luckily i uh, positioned anti-missiles to defend those cities so here another priority is to destroy his cities that are making the warheads so two priorities to kill down brazil bombard his naval bases and also bombard his cities that are making the conventional warheads here the unfortunate thing think that we are both in the shallow waters so our speeds they are a little bit um, heavy he is landing some hits on me so I will try to um, get off from the shallow waters and go to the high seas assemble my two task forces there to have four cruisers in one stack and I will hit harder again next time the secret here of this long series we are now uh, outpassing the uh, the barrier of 20 episodes we are going to uh, 24 episodes now the secret is a lot of active players a lot of battles at the same time and also such battles and such intensity is going to require time it's going to require activity and also a lot of highlights you know that when i edit the videos the footages I really focus on the highlights where a lot of actions there are I do not really focus a lot on the phase of building the phase of you know the, those stuff they are not interesting for the viewer to see but in this series there are a lot of highlights I cannot really discard no footages I need to show you everything that happened in this game because everything is related to what is happening this is the Gibraltar Strait Naval Battle and he is killing my cruiser I need to position my multiple rocket launchers ASAP north of Gibraltar to be able to help my cruiser um, kill those uh, naval vessels of Brazil. I think I'm going to need some backup from Brazil there. I need to send at least a task force here because if he breaks through the Mediterranean Sea and goes to my uh, coastal cities, he will be able to bombard them and destroy my naval bases there. Brazil is uh, so annoyingly active he keeps on hitting me and hitting me again and again my cruisers here in the Mediterranean Sea they are seeing a hard time a very hard time you see that he keeps on hitting and going back this technique is actually useful and very good uh, I'm enjoying this naval battle versus Brazil because I love fighting against active players players that know what they are doing players that are interesting to compete against I will try to retreat and reassemble my uh, stacks of course reorganize my navies I need to defend my coastal cities my priority are Palermo and uh, Rome I don't want him to destroy my naval bases I'm trying to make some destroyers there in case they make some subs or something and uh, submarines, um, the storage they are going to be useful to to um, defend my coastal cities because they take uh, less time and less resources because here I'm suffering with the electronics production because I'm overweighing my electronics consumption. 
Here, uh, Brazil sent task force to bombard my uh, coastal city of Bordeaux. You know, Bordeaux is my annexed city. And now he sent his task force to bombard it. You see here that I went back to the coastal city of Palermo. Now we are in day 38. My task force of three cruisers that I uh, sent as a backup from Brazil is now on the gates of the Gibraltar Strait to defend me. You see, he keeps on sending more and more nuclear ballistic missiles, but my anti-defensive systems, they are anti-missile systems, they are defending my cities perfectly. Okay, uh, officially now that Syria has fallen, his home and cities that are almost dead. Uh, Morocco State is annoying me everywhere here on the map. I am suffering against Rogue State. You know, National Guards, they are a little bit weak versus Rogue State now here. I am trying to max up my cruisers because this naval battle is going to be long, I suppose. Yeah, it's going to be long because Brazil has surprised me that he has a lot of ships, a lot of ships, more than I expected. Now I killed around three stacks and still he is sending more and more. Uh, to be able to uh, have a chance against them, I will have to upgrade my cruisers, so one hit from a stack of cruisers is going to be deadly. I don't know where is Brazil now, he bombarded my city of Bordeaux, but now I don't know where he is heading or going, I'm sending my 19th task force to intercept him. Of course, I will intercept his way, I will stop him from going south of the Mediterranean Sea. I will try to assemble more multi rocket launches at the gates of the Gibraltar Strait. I'm going to need radar there, of course. I made a radar in my city, I will send it here to give me naval vision. It's going to be like an ambush there, like a mortar. Any naval uh, ship is going to pass through the Gibraltar Strait is going to be hit by my multi rocket launches. Of course, it's not going to be that deadly strike. It's going to be a minor damage, but better than nothing, of course. At least it's going to intimidate the Brazilian navies from passing through. When he sees multi rocket launches, they are going to attack him from that side. He will think twice before, uh, before passing through the Gibraltar Strait. You see here the derby between Austria and Brazil. Both of us, we have 1,400 points. Just imagine, imagine the competition now between the Austrian Empire and the Brazilian Kingdom. Imagine the high intensity of this competition. One of us is going to win this game. One of us is going to win this game and favorably, I will do my best that the winner of this game is going to be me. Fortaleza is under heavy fire from the Aust Austrian elite battle group and the second task force uh, composed of the heavy weight cruisers. I have uh, nine warheads now. I will uh, use them wisely against the Brazilian navies, of course. Uh, my cities, they are heavily spamming the conventional warheads because I'm going to need them. China has invaded Pakistan. Thanks to China, I do not have to worry about the invasion of Pakistan. The invasion of China on Pakistan has forced Pakistan to send me peace. He actually sent me right of way. That's good, I do not have to worry about that. I need to focus all of my armies, all of my navies on, the, on Brazil because um, I expect that he will make um, a land move. Because from the Intel agents, we saw that he is making a lot of mobile anti-air motorized infantry max level in Africa. So I really suppose that uh, Brazil might cross the Mediterranean Sea with his land armies and go to Europe. I need to be prepared for that. I need to be, to be prepared for such um, a scenario, of course. Okay, boys, we are at the end of today's episode. We are going to continue bombarding the Brazilian cities. We are going to meet in the next one and we shall see what is going to happen. I will use my sixth, sixth fighter squadron to scout for the Brazilian task force. I need to locate it. Where is it? See you guys and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.